Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to build a frog. So what I want to do is a resting frog. I mean frogs, they don't swim all the time, right? So in fact, they stay resting most of the time on the water. Uh, once in a while they will kick and then that will trigger the reaction bite. Um, so anyway, here's some pictures on the internet and this is pretty good. Uh, you can see when they float down the water, they all have this hind head spreading out and forehand actually uh, sticking towards front or on the side. So here are some more pictures from the internet and here is a series of how the frogs swim and you can see in the beginning they will draw the hind legs and then kick and glide. When they glide the forearms tend to point to the back but this is not what I want to achieve. I want to achieve a lazy frog, a floating one, a resting one that will be an easy target for the hungry bass. And this one is the, the how they float and also this one. So they tend to spread four legs and with the head and the eyes float on top of the water. Yep, so this will be the target and let's see if we can reproduce this one. Let's go. So first thing first, let's insert a canvas, which is a frog picture. We'll pick the one that's float. Pick this area, top, and orient it properly. Move down. It's about right. Okay, so it's centered. So now let's scale to the right size. Right click the object and do a calibrate. Pick two points and I will say 40 millimeter. That's good. So to create the frog itself, we will start with the body. There are several ways to do organic sculpting depending on the shape of your target. You can start with a pipe or a quad ball or a box. For example, you can use a pipe in this case, but it might require more modifications. If you choose a starting point, that's closer to your target, then you will make your life a lot easier. Um, here I created a quad ball as a starting point. You can set different numbers of span faces depending on how complicated your subject is. Uh, because the frog body is pretty simple and straightforward, we don't need too many span faces. In fact, I just set it to one. Here's the final look of the body. Uh, I make it fatter because I'm making a lazy frog and it should be fat because it doesn't swim that much. Anyway, let's turn off the canvas. Has a, have a closer look. And as you can see, I cut out the slot for the mouth already and also the nostrils. And you can see the belly part is thicker than the rest. So to do the slot of the mouth, so first I created a, an offset plan and on that plan I sketch a curve and then I project the curve to the body itself. It will become a line on the surface. Then I turn that line into a pipe and then I use that pipe to cut the body. I also add in an eye here and do a mirror to create the other one. I forgot to mention this will be an open pore mold 
because the lure will be floating against the water surface so align everything to some flat surface would make sense as you can see I create the legs in sections so it will be easier for me to move them around and also form the position that I like again I use pipe form for the sections you can see all the parts are aligned to the top nicely now the fingers so basically I use pipe form for each finger sculpt to the shape I like and do this for all fingers then use mirror to copy it to the other side actually I just realized they are also called digits to create the toes and webs first I create a plan so I can make some sketches then I did the bare bone for the toes and create the pipe form from those curved lines and sculpt the shape for the toes and then I draw the outline for the web and then I extrude that outline to the thickness of the web after that I mirror the whole feet to the other side and adjust to the appropriate place there are supposed to be five toes but for the simplicity I only did four I don't think fish can count can they? so here's the complete model for the frog the reason that I want to make the feet coming down instead of laying flat because if I did that when I uh, work the bait the whole thing will be just gliding it will not have any action because everything is flat but if the feet is coming down like this when I twitch the bait it will have some kick in action well that's the theory from this angle you can also see the eyes look who is here stealing the show anyways uh, this is the first version of the mold that I did and as you can see the plaster saw can really get into the tight space around the feet so I had to do something else to solve the problem I designed this uh, version 2 where I cut out the space around the feet so you can see one side of the feet still through this cutout and then I use the cutout to make the wedges so basically they're just uh, the cutout and then I extend one side uh, let's hide the whole body here so you can see because of this shape I can put it into the mold uh, doing doing pouring and take it out when I demold so that's the idea so the plaster saw can get into these tight space and here is the whole mold let's go print it I heat up two colors to have the lemonade effect so here I pour the light color first well it's supposed to be white but I just use whatever I have laying around and then the dark color well I really did a bad job here so for those soft bait makers don't laugh at my skills which is none I think I poured too much on the feet I should pour it less next time
I did have to do a lot of trimming, but this is what it looks like after trimming. I think it looks pretty good. One thing I have to think about is how am I going to make it float after I put it on the hook. If you have any idea, leave your comments. I would love to hear them. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you have not subscribed, please do so. We will see you next time. Peace out.